Hello everybody and welcome back to Things Are Gonna Get Better. Because today, I had left myself a sign yesterday. And I don't know why I put in mail, but it, it, we're gonna make mob grind. This isn't this isn't lobster fest, okay? Um, so that's gonna we're gonna get those those sweet things called loot bags, and it's gonna be a grand old party. And I'm basically basically I'm just gonna make a freaking I'm gonna make a dicer. Also, looking forward to making juices in the future. I'm hoping they stack. Uh, is there? Yes, there is spikes. They're expensive. What I'm gonna do is I do have a lot of iron though, so I should be able to make a bunch of iron spikes. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'll see you guys over in the city. As you can see, I, I found a ruin, or I saw a ruin on my map, so I decided to go fight it this time instead of running away from it. So, I'm just going to do this beforehand. And it froze up some of the dudes. I wonder if I can break them out, if they'll still be alive, or if they'll be a problem. I think the count is dead. You can bring him back. By breaking the ice, you can definitely bring him back. But the count is dead, so... If I need to uh, kill him, you know, I can do that. Also, there's a gravestone here. Oh, yeah, they break out after a little bit. Okay. They can do it on their own sometimes, apparently. Probably because they're wizards. Uh, I think he was trying to go into... Ooh, Amulet of Cloaking for Flame. Uh, reduces incoming damage by 75% while standing within a ring of fire belonging to you or an ally. I've got no ring of fire for that yet, but it's an amulet. Which means I'd have to use... I mean, that it seems like it would be more useful than that. Plus four attack speed. Plus one speed in general. Hmm. Oh, well, now the wizard's down there. Interesting. Grave didn't have nothing too interesting. That... That... That jerk is stealing my stuff. How dare you use those spells on me. You are all over the place, mate. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother fighting you. You're just too much of an issue. Uh, I'm gonna start hitting back. Because I used a waystone to get out of here. So I'm going to head back to the village that I used to get here and then teleport back home and then I'm going to actually go to that village that's really close to my home and that's where the base of my operations is going to be. But I did make some spikes though, so that's all nice and good. And well, here we are, hell sweet hell. Now I just got to find a good room with a skeleton spider. I don't really care for a zombie or a spider spawner. I don't really want either of those. But I do want a skeleton spawner because those are typically pretty cool.
And just like that, I have the base for the spawner. I'm not sure how to how good it will work, but hopefully it will work. I mean, it sounds like somebody fell down and died. So, I guess maybe. Yeah, they're spawning. Cool. And then, because I got those spikes at the bottom, if you walk your way back down to here, look at that. Just free stuff sitting right there. Ain't that a kick in the head. I'm going to put a torch here, but it's going to need to be far back. Because I want it to light up the area, but I don't want it to stop skeletons from spawning. Um, I guess I'm going to go back to my house and make hoppers, because I think you can put hoppers under these spikes and they should work functionally. But I am not 100% on that. Alright, so I've made my way back to the stabber. I'm going to stick that chest right there. Got these hoppers. And we'll see if they can actually suck up loot from on top of the spikes, which so far it's seeming like a no. Seeming like a no. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Huh. Perhaps the spikes are too small. Is there a shorter version of the spikes that's more like a half slab? Hmm. Guess not. Uh, but they do a crap ton of damage though, so... Should be... Should be good and fine. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this chest down here, even though I can't hopper the spikes. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have that there, so that I can place all my millions of bags and junk that I'm going to get from the uh, skeletons and then I'll have to upgrade it even further so that more skeletons drop. Luckily when I put the hoppers down at the very least I can't get hit by the spikes because if you tap them lightly it counts as it being a hit. I'm going to go ahead and put my waystone right here. This spawner. And there, I'll be able to get uh, from home to spawner easy peasy all the time. Cool. Alright, uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my backpack full of this junk. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go upstairs. I did bring buckets, yes. I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna try to make it so that I push other mob spawners into that one right there. Alright, so it turns out that I didn't even have to use water for the zombies because they'll just straight up fall down. Like, um, like they're, they're that close together, the spawners. Which makes life ridiculously easy for me. And I'm going to be able to collect all sorts of loot bags from this scandal. I mean, it spawns mostly skeletons, but zombies will fall down occasionally. I've seen that happen. And apparently, the hoppers are picking up some things. That's rather strange. Um, also, I probably wouldn't get a lot of zombie spawning down here. Because of the fact that I'm so far away from the spawner, it probably doesn't spawn anything. But if I'm up here, I'll see, or I saw earlier, uh, occasionally a zombie or two will fall down. So, it's like optimal positions up here-ish. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after standing around for a teeny bit, I was able to manage these bags. Didn't get anything too crazy so far, but we're going to do a big O unboxing. First, we're going to start with the common bags because they're crap. Or they're supposed to be, at least, so... Meh.
Oh, Cobalt Shield. Grants immunity to knockback when held or equipped in the bubble slot. Also functions as regular shield. Can be repaired at anvil with iron equipment. Diamond chest plate. And then we got Magic Mirror. That Magic Mirror is going to be sick. Broken Heart also going to be sick. Destroys Empty Heart Canister instead. Sleep to regenerate Heart Canisters. Interesting. Disc. Alright, now that I've sorted that all out, we can start looking at the interesting stuff. Next up we got Rare Bags. And then after that, uh, Artifacts and Legendaries. Let's see. Oh, and an epic one that was sneaking in there. All right, first rare loot bag. Just power grail. Okay, cool. Second one, power grail, golden sword, cracked black dragon scale. Said to protect against withering. Perhaps this broken one could be repaired. I would like to not wither. And in the epic one, I found a compass, spark bomb, and an iron shovel. Nothing too good in there, but uh, I mean, the cracked dragon scale would be cool. To fix. To fix it though, I need a regular Ender Dragon scale and another star. Man, that was a, that's gonna be a pain to get, but cool to have at least. I'll see you in a sec for my other, my higher crap. All right, for my first legendary bag, I have gotten a Grand Crystal and a ooh Mending Protection and Thorns. Okay, switching that out. Oh heck yeah, that's great. That really is a legendary bag. And now we're stuck with artifact bags. Is there anything good? Iron ring, string, diamond pickaxe with silk touch. And now I'm out of bags, but at least I got some cool stuff. Um, yeah, loot box pretty freaking successful. I'm liking it. And I can keep going back for more because it's not like it kills me. I need to use a waystone to sit around and get some more loot bags. Just takes time, but besides that, it, it, I mean, they're giving me a few ender pearls every once in a while, so eventually I'll get enough to do something helpful. <laughs> for now, though, um, for now, though, now that I got my loot box adventure complete and I got some cool stuff out of it, uh, please give this video a like and subscribe if you like it. If you really like my content, you can share it with a friend. That'd be super cool because I'm a small channel after all. Pass says Rift is coming to you with his glowy armor and lots of glitchy items going through it. Have a nice day. Hope to see you all in the next one. Cobalt Shield!